In other lockdown file revelations, Matt Hancock, the plonker, mounted a campaign to close <laughs> schools ahead of the new term in January 2021, despite Sir Gavin Williamson battling tooth and nail to keep classrooms open. Now, although the former health secretary initially lost the debate in Cabinet, he then did successfully persuade Number 10 to reverse the decision. And in the leaked messages, Hancock and his aides mocked the Education Secretary for freaking out, calling his argument mad and rejoicing in him having to eat humble pie. Now, the U-turn caused chaos at the start of the spring term, with many children returning to class for one day before schools shut again. Williamson has now asked whether he should have resigned when his plea was ignored. Um, I saw you looking at me when I... When I called Matt Hancock a plonker then, but it just does seem to be yeah. <laughs> such a plonker. And this way that he's sort of rejoicing and, and they're all fighting like kids yeah. over such serious issues. And it's pathetic. I, I, I think that's the bit that I, I'm really, really struggling with, is the fact that they all come across so absolutely childish and ridiculous and stupid about such serious issues. Right. It's it's yeah. like you said, Ian, there literally is no ninjas in cupboards, there's no secret caves, there's no one with any real intelligence. You've got Matt Hancock, for goodness sake, deciding whether in our charge kids... charge of a pandemic. Exactly. Deciding whether yeah. our children went to school or not, deciding whether we can meet in groups of more than six or not, and he doesn't have a clue what he was doing. And given no one else did, but you're not willing to take advice, you're treating it like a joke. And this is a joke that in, in which people People's relatives mm, and correct. people were dying every single day. I think you could people put were arrogant. standing I think you could put arrogant by them. On the front yeah, of the absolutely. Part. People yeah. were standing by themselves at funerals of their loved ones mm. because of rules that you made up and joked about in WhatsApp and groups. That, and that's what will infuriate so many people. It, it will infuriate them. I don't, I don't have a problem that they had to make up rules per se, yeah. but what I do have a problem with is that. Um, Matt Hancock has shown himself to be somebody who um, seemed to be more interested in, in the politics him. and the politic and yeah. him. Mm. And Gavin Williamson, in my view, the most hapless, the most useless, yeah, the honestly. most incompetent minister. He's asking whether he should have resigned. Oh, yes. He shouldn't have taken the job in the first place. He's so well. useless. And, and I, I really struggled to find myself agreeing that he shouldn't have shut down schools, except... His view was because he thought it was that teachers were lazy and they just didn't want to work, as opposed to perhaps you could focus on the educational side of this. Perhaps you could ask some educationalists what should be done to make sure that we put the right policy in place. All of these people are demonstrating how cretinous they are, yeah. how useless at the job they are, yeah. and how disappointing but they you know, have been as ministers mm -hmm. and how disappointed we should be as voters that, that they got anywhere close to power. But that's, the, that's kind of hit the nail on the head in many respects, James, because Excellent. something happens in, in <laughs> politics. I can't remember the, there's a psycho, there's a psychology name for it, where make it, it's, it's, making unpopular decisions is what kind of turns you on in the world. Yeah. Because you think, if it's unpopular, then you know something the rest of us don't know, mm. because your own wisdom drives your decision. And if people are saying that's the wrong decision, therefore it must be the right decision in your kind of strange, twisted brain. What it, you, this is a great example of, you know, that whole thing of absolute power corrupting and all the rest of it. This is a cracking example of that, because yes. Hancock clearly had absolutely lost the plot on this. And, yeah. and he'd run away, Daisy, with so many ideas. You know, we've got to close the schools. Matt, as you said, Matt Hancock, Matt bloody Hancock Honestly. decided to close our schools. But, but also that, that should be the led. title of a book in yeah. itself, the, being the, the, led the issue, by idiots. Yeah, the, the issue about... Um, Power and of course, what happened, and I think most people were quite happy with this in some ways, is that all normal politics fell apart, you know, or, or, or fell mm. away. You know, was was that there was no opposition, there was no scrutiny because the sense was we're all in this together. Mm. Yes. This is not the time to make petty <clears throat> party political yeah. points. This isn't the time <laughs> for for the opposition mm. you know, yeah. to to attack because actually that would have been quite unpopular because people didn't want to see that. Mm. But as a result, there was no scrutiny. But yeah. there was no scrutiny. But I, again. I don't have a problem yeah. with people making mistakes, and I think this is where they got it wrong. There are two things they got wrong. First of all, I think we, the public, would forgive a politician for making a mistake if... And they said right at the beginning, and I thought this is a good admission, we will make mistakes, we won't necessarily get it all right because this has never happened before. That's fine. But where is this sense of leadership? If you work yeah. in any business, you lead by example. 
And if you're not prepared to lead by example, then you as a chief exec, you yeah. as a business leader, you as an entrepreneur will not succeed. I, yeah. I see the other thing, though, is the fact that we have to... Uh, I mean, I know we're looking at this just as an isolated, here we are in, in Britain, but we have to actually consider that in the whole world people were locking down. So when people go, we, you know, we shouldn't have locked down then, we shouldn't have looked down, mm. locked down at the other place, there was, there was so much debate about locking down, to lock down and not to lock down. And, <clears> and, and, and now that we're so many years on, we forget that right at the beginning we were terrified of this yeah. thing. Yes. It was new. We hadn't we hadn't had this thing before, and we we were watching what was happening in Italy, and people were dying in car parks. Yes. And and at that point, I th I think lots of people were so scared that when they made that decision, I know you know you can look at you know how, how idiotic they were and how they went about it and all those other things, but I it, you know it it was as you said earlier on. It was a new thing. We didn't know what mm. was going on. Mm. And and everybody was a bit of a headless Penny, chicken in countries Penny, around I the world. I think what you said is absolutely right. We were all terrified. And that was one of the reasons why Boris Johnson listened to his media advisers rather than to his scientists, because they had done such a good job of terrifying us all that yeah. we, as a nation and as you know, a group of people, weren't ready to unlock because we were so scared. But and when you, if when we you terrified, had... though, when the thing that terrified me was when I saw the pictures out of Italy... Yeah. Right at the beginning, which was, here is this thing, look at what's happening, and this is why it needs to be done, and this is after, you know, we'd had the... Can you believe what we can see? And then, so I didn't have a problem with them taking this decision based on, we don't know what to do yet, so this is the safest yeah. option. That's fine. But it's, that was this, right at the, the beginning. The that was right at the beginning. Yeah. Mucking yeah. around, that's how I have a problem. And also, yeah. it's the constant short-termism over yeah. any sort of long-term view. Which and is, that unpleasantness and, as well about the crowing part. Yeah. Yippee, I did, you know, just, it was, it was unpleasant. It's yeah. unpleasant.